Like you know, I don't mind other smokers. I don't want to force any smoker to stop smoking. I don't have problem with smokers. If a smoker wants to smoke, he can smoke. I will never ever try to convince a smoker to stop smoking. Because in the end, it's your decision. Nobody can convince you to stop smoking. Because that is what I believe one of the biggest mistakes that the non-smokers make in relationship to helping smokers to stop smoking. And that is to, to try to convince them, oh daddy you have to stop smoking, oh mama you have to stop smoking, or telling your girlfriend or your bo boyfriend that they have to stop smoking. They have to do nothing. You only have to do what you want yourself. And so the question for today is, imagine you could stop smoking without any discomfort. Would you like to stop smoking immediately? And I hope for you that the answer to that question is a very convincing yes. Because that's the purpose of the journey that you have started. That is what I'm going to help you with. I'm going to help you stop smoking without any discomfort. But it's a journey we have to go through together. I by myself can do nothing. You by myself, you've noticed it. You've tried several things in the past. It didn't work out. So we are in this game together until the end. And that must be very, very clear for you because Let's just for a moment look back at your previous, um, your previous, um, um, how would I say it? The, what you tried in the past. Let's, let's have a look at that, what you tried in the past. And let's have a look at how it made you feel, right? Because no matter what you tried in the past, uh, whether you tried patches, whether you tried gums, maybe you tried uh, Chantix or Zyben, uh, maybe you tried hypnotherapy, laser therapy. One thing is for sure, it didn't work, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video now. And you wouldn't have called for my help to help you to become a free, happy non-smoker. Now, there is a very good reason why all these things couldn't help you stop smoking. And as you will notice also on the journey that we are going to make, as you will notice in the, in, in the future, most of the reasons why it didn't work are here between your two ears. It's all psychology. It's a mental process. Yeah? And it is not what we have been told uh, all our lives, the nicotine on itself, because nicotine on itself, as you will see in one of, the, of the, the next videos, nicotine is not the main problem. Nicotine is the reason why you smoke, but it's not the reason why you find it so difficult to stop smoking, right? Because I believe that no matter what methodology you have tried in the past to stop smoking. I believe that there are always three characteristics that come back. And I really would like to ask you to listen carefully and to see whether it fits in your experience, right? Um, because that, that is the purpose, that everything that I tell you, that you can relate to it in your own, um, in your own life, in your own smoking experience, so to speak. And so I think whatever, whatever method you have tried in the past, I think the first characteristics that always comes back is there comes a point in time that you say that you forbid yourself to smoke. You say, Eric, it's over. I forbid myself to touch one other cigarette. That's the first typical characteristic of any method uh, you might have tried in the past, right? A second typical char characteristic is you deny, you have the feeling that from that moment onwards you deny yourself a kind of a treat because you consider the, cig the cigarette as a treat and now you forbid yourself to smoke so you have the feeling that you deny yourself that nice little treat. Can you recognize that in, in, in your own uh, past when you try to stop smoking? And a third characteristic that always um, comes back is that no matter what method you tried to stop smoking, from that moment onwards, you are waiting for the, the proof that yes, you are smoke free and that it worked. You're waiting for a proof and you're also waiting for the desire of a cigarette to be 
lost and gone. You don't want to have that craving anymore. But you still have it because you, you stop smoking a week, two weeks, a month, but you still crave that cigarette. You still want to have that other cigarette and you're waiting until the moment that that craving, that that desire for a cigarette is no longer there. Can you, can you recognize those three characteristics? So the fact that you forbid yourself to smoke, the fact that you deny yourself a nice treat, and the fact that you're waiting for the desire, the craving of a cigarette to disappear? Because if you can recognize yourself in these three, st these three things, then you have already discovered a first major reason why all these previous attempts you made have failed. Right? And it's all happening here. It's all happening between our ears. It's a mental process. And what I will be doing in the, in the coming days together with you is I will take you on a mental journey that will make it possible to stop smoking without any discomfort, without having the feeling of missing out on something, without having the feeling of sacrificing something, right? And once that you could make that mental shift in your mind, you will discover that Give up smoking is one of the easiest things you have ever done in your life. And it's perfectly okay that you still are skeptical at this moment. Why is it normal? First of all, you've tried so many things and all these things have promised you that they would help you to stop smoking, blah, blah, blah. And look, you're still watching this video because they didn't deliver on what they promised. I will make sure that I will deliver on what I promise. I will help you to become a free, happy non-smoker. But like I said before, I cannot do this by myself. There are no miracles in the world. There is no magic pill. You will have to do a big part of the deal, right? You will have to invest your time, you will have to invest your energy, and you will have to focus and pay close attention to everything that I'm going to tell you, right? And in the end, it will be your decision. Do you really want to stop smoking? And do you really want to fully appreciate and use my help and coaching? In the end, it's up to you. It's like I say, I respect you as a person. I respect you as a smoker. And if you want to become a free, happy non-smoker, it's my pleasure and honor to guide you and help you on the journey. I see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.